who's the guy on your team right now that's the biggest dog? Who's the guy that is the one that is uh, like the toughest, the one that gets his teammates up, the one that was uh, the least intimidated going up against well, these big schools? Well, like none of them is intimidated. So let me put that out there. You know, I got two twins that this is what they love to do. Like they, 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 they love to go out there and mix it up. Um, obviously, Casey Defo is our emotional leader. I think the toughest guy people laugh at is, is Doug Edder. You know, like people yeah. laugh about his mustache. People laugh about Doug is one of the toughest guys on my team. Um, like he he loves this. He he built for it. But like I'll be honest, like my, my whole team, man. Like I like like they kind of follow my personality. Like I play this way, right? I play with a chip on my shoulder, being five ten, having something to prove. You know, God telling me I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. And, you know, being a McDonald's All-American and a top five player in my class, the best point guard. Like, I took all that stuff as fuel to the fire. And these guys played that same exact way. Some of these guys didn't get recruited heavily. Some of these guys didn't get recruited at all. You know, St. Peter's was the only school. So some of these guys have a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the fact that you guys beat Kentucky and, and, and the guy's name is Doug and he's got that <laughs> terrible mustache. And I think I said he looks like a guy who, who should be like – uh, you know, selling you cigarettes at a Seven Eleven. Instead, he just <laughs> he shot 100 percent from the field against Kentucky. That's it was so great, and you could tell Doug is a dog. Like that guy's not scared of anything. He is a perfect March Madness player. Like the story and everything behind it is just so perfect. No, that's that's Doug for you, man. Doug, uh, I first got the job. Um, Doug played AU for a guy I used to play for San Diego with the role runners. He told me he had a kid, and I went to go watch him, and I loved him. I mean, I loved everything about his game, his toughness. He can make shots. He was fearless. He was, you know, not backing down. I'm like, yeah, I got to have this kid. Mm -hmm. When you took over the job, I, I have to imagine that, you know, you, you step in, you have to, like, change the culture. We hear coaches talk about culture a lot. What did you do? Like, what, what from the, from the get-go was your mindset in, in telling the guys, okay, this is what our culture is going to be here? Well, first thing first, you know, I thought Coach Dunn did an unbelievable job here, John Dunn at St. Peter's. Um, but I just wanted to get local players. Like, that was my main thing. Anywhere I've been as a coach, um, when I coached at Iona, we had local players. When I coached at C. Home, we had local players. In both of those places, we had a lot of success with local players. So my main thing was to get local players. Like you said earlier in the show, make sure that the guys stay home. So you look at my team. My, my team is kind of built around guys from the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Philadelphia area. DC area. Like I want guys like, like those guys um, are guys that I want to play guys that like, like I said, already have something to prove chip on their shoulder, under recruited, tough, hard nose. Cause you gotta be tough to, to play for me. If you ain't tough, you, you can't play for me. When it, when it comes to Dougie dirt and that's what I call him now. He's just in my mind. He's just Dougie dirt. Uh, we do love the mustache. The mustache is, has that been there all year or is it no. something that, cause I can't have him shave the mustache before the next round. He's got well, no, no, he starts shaving the mustache. So we went on COVID pause um, at the end of Christmas, like around New Year's time. He started growing it while he was, he was in COVID um, when, when he was in quarantine. And then he just kept it. And then I think his girlfriend liked it. So, he, you know, he, he, he stayed on with it. I don't like it. But you know what? Right now, it's, it's, it's big. You know, it's helping him. It's helping us. So keep it. You know, let it grow some more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, you can't um, change it now. 